Good morning and rise and shine. I pray to God you have a great day today. I'm reading a little book by Max Lucado. One of the chapters, chapter 39, is entitled God's Never Ending Grace. If you've ever stood by the Niagara Falls and watch it just continuously go over those faults. Do you ever get the feeling like, where does it all come from? And how long does it possibly last? Is there any end to it? God's never ending grace. I'm going to be looking down a little bit. So every, I just want you to get this. It blessed me so much. I know it will you too. Max writes, a few years ago, our family went on vacation to the beach. Rosie, grandchild number one, was three and a half years old and had never seen the ocean before. We all wondered how she would respond to the sight. When she saw the waves and heard the roar of the water, she watched and listened and then finally said, when does it turn off? Answer, it doesn't, sweetie. It doesn't. It never turns off. We ask the same thing about God's grace sometimes, don't we? Surely it will dry up. Or surely it will stop flowing, right? Wrong. Surely we will exhaust his goodness, won't we? Never. We will at some point write one too many checks on his mercy and love, correct? Incorrect. Listen to the word from Psalm 103, starting at verse 10. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, nor pay us back in full for our wrongs. As high as the heavens is over the earth, so strong is his love towards those that fear him. And as far as the sunrise is from the sunset, he has separated us from our sins. As parents feel for their children, God feels for those that fear him. Psalm 103, 10 through 13. Can't anything make you stop loving me? Let me say that one again. Can anything make me stop loving you, God asks? <laughs> Watch me and speak your language. Sleep on your earth. Feel your hurts. Behold the maker of the sight and sound as he sneezes, coughs, and blows his nose. You wonder if I understand how you feel? Look into the dancing eyes of that child from Nazareth. That's God walking to school. That's God holding that hammer. Ponder the toddler at Mary's table. That's God spilling his milk. You wonder how long my love will last? Find your answer on an old splintered cross on a craggy hill. That's me you see up there. Your maker, your God. 
nails stabbed and bleeding. Covered in spit and soaked with your sin. That's your sin I'm feeling. That's your death I'm dying. That's your resurrection that I'm living. That's how much I love you. Can anything come between you and me? Asked the firstborn son. Hear the answer. And stake your future on these triumphant words of Paul. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor ruling spirits, nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us, nothing below us, or anything else in the whole world will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans eight thirty eight. into every mind comes the type of questions that this little chapter entitled God's Never Ending Grace. Don't think you're alone when those questions come to your mind. You're not. The Word of God sustains us and strengthens us, brings us assurance of His never-ending grace. If you would take grace and write it this way, G-R-A-C-E, write it up and down. It would stand for God's riches at Christ's expense. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. You can never exhaust how God feels about you. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should never perish, but have everlasting life. Knowing about the mercy and grace and the giving heart of God, doesn't it just make you want to please him in everything you do or say today? Doesn't it just make you want to lay your own ambitions and your own trendy ways aside and just say, God, whatever you want me to do today, I'm on deck. Use me. Not my will, Lord, but thine be done. Friend, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching Rise and Shine. Wherever you are in the world today and you're watching Rise and Shine, know that you are cared for. We send our love to you. But most of all, God is so good all the time. God loves you. Have a good day. Bye.